so tranquil and so at peace. It's so nice. I want to dip my piggies in a little, or actually big piggy pond. But, hello everyone, my name is Elio Tate, and welcome back to Bug Fables. Last time, we defeated the Hardy Seedling King, played Whack and Worm, and delivered the Super Nutty Cake. Or just the Nutty Cake. And now this time, we'll head back to the Ant Kingdom, or actually the outskirts, to travel to the Forsaken Lands with Queen Elizant. Elizant. Yes, that's the word. I'll see you all in a second. Through the tunnel we are and we see them. But, oh, before I do that, I actually want to do something else. This is where we landed last hot, or this is where we landed once we completed Snake Bath Den in the very first chapter. And we've been next to this waterfall ever since, but let's pass here. This is something I've been thinking about, but also something I've really wanted to go back to. Cause there is something back here. Right. And final ice. And let's hop over to this little hole. What a cozy place. It's quite secluded from everywhere else. They should build a bridge here. Then they could build houses and stuff. How dare you and ruin this beauty? Well, we know what Leaf's opinion is and there's someone here. Someone here? I must be seeing things. Our apologies for disturbing you. We're, uh, simply looking around. I thought I'd finally... I was finally alone, but even here society follows. We're leaving, okay? Sheesh. Try to have a nice day. Leaf. Well, is there really all there is here? I wonder what's the point in doing nothing all day. He could just feel tired or something. Leaf, this goes quite beyond civil fatigue. I guess we can't do anything here. Wait, the permit. Your explorers. Who else would detour into this cave? You help people, right? Well, Kabu does. I get the reward. Leaf has magic. What can we do for you, Sir Hermit? My name's Elon. I can feel that you have something extraordinary. Something I miss. But I can't put it into words. Probably a healthy side of optimism. <laughs> You're an optimist? It's not that. I can feel you've been somewhere beautiful. Removed from others. I know what I miss is there. Can't you try and find it? Uh, we usually get less vague requests. And we go into super awesome places all the time. When I look at the three of you, it's as if the light of a golden paradise fills my eyes. Does that help at all? No, actually it does, V! It's better than nothing. It's a tough request, but we'll keep you posted. Thank you. I'll keep trying to figure out my role in this world. Hmm, spiritual golden paradise. But figuring out your place in the world? Me too, buddy. Me too. A little splash before I go. A golden paradise? I feel like there's already a description that fits it perfectly. Somewhere only a few select people can go to. Let's just keep that in mind before we actually do anything, because I delayed the queen a bit too long. And so let's actually see what she needs from us. Well, no, that's not the right... We know what she needs, and we'll just be here. That... <laughs> that numbnail is going to be spinning in the cutscene the whole time, right? <laughs> yep. My queen, are you sure about this? These lands are very dangerous. If there was any other way, I would assure you I would take it. The Forsaken Lands? Do the rumors hold true? Main dangerous beasts roam in the Forsaken Lands. Some even disguise themselves in various forms. Famished creatures, always waiting for the next meal in this land where plants only grow by miracles. But heed me! Nothing in this land compares to the horror we will live with the wasp at the sapling. I've heard that termites dislike ants heavily. Will they open their doors? We can only hope they realize this matter concerns to them as well. Having a queen with us is not the worst insurance. Let's proceed at once. You are to keep me safe, but I will support you where I can. Leave it to us. Be careful out there, my queen. The real horror would be a, an would be a kingdom without you. My loyal subject, I thank you. Please wait faithfully for our return. 
As long as Eliza is following, the party you are now able to use the Royal Decree skill in battle. And with the Royal Decree, I will show that off after killing that thumbnail on accident. But let's see if we're too strong for you. We're not. The Belos toss and there's two of you and where's Royal Decree. There we go. Eliza will inspire the party, boosting attack and defense by two turns. By one for two turns. So let's try it out. She's not actually in the battle, but she'll walk in and then glide away. <laughs> I didn't know she just glides away. But it's pretty cool. But that does use up our own turn, which is quite peculiar, honestly. Actually, I don't know why I switched off to you. Wait. Do I just lose all my things for... Yes, I do. So, I'll try out the heavy strike and see how much damage we do from that. And... Oh, I should have... Actually, I don't need to. Let's do Needle Pincer. And we numb them. Even though it's going to do a lot of defense for them. What? Ooh, two damage for a big rock. What I want to do now is Boulder Toss. Four TP? This is incredibly worth it. BB, left down, right. Wait, that's the other way. Five and zero. That's, that's a little bit awkward. Let's see how much damage we do with you. Two. That's actually a lot more than I originally thought. But let's see what we can do with you. Hopefully two again. Yep. And perfect. And what? And I think for this, we need to have... Oh, we can have V attack. Because I was worried about losing her attack buff. But since we have a charge up, that's even better. Perfect. I know this game a little bit more than I did before and I am proud to not have my ass beat all the time and let's attack you again but Royal Decree is gonna be useful for us because it busts us by so much like not only will we last longer we'll also defeat enemies faster and with the badges that provide HP and TP we don't have to worry about TP too much anymore or not as much I mean but let's finish off this Velos toss with Kaboon V. Perfect. That looks like it would kill us. Good thing it doesn't. So, last hit. Down you go. 24 inspiration points. I'm s I'm glad I'm not overpowered. Or not as overpowered. Is there anything up here? No. But, ooh, that is a new enemy. Another snail that's incredibly fast. Let me just see what you can do. Let me reorganize and spy with leaf. Since we have two attacks, this is the iron nail. One, two, three. A hard numb nail. <laughs> we got caught off, caught off guard by its movements. It mustn't happen again. We almost got put to sleep. Kabu, drag it out of its shell. Then we shall freeze it in its tracks. Freeze? Can we freeze you? We can, according to my notes, so let's do it. And attack up. That's even better. And A, and up, up, A. Well, we can't freeze you, but it doesn't mean we guarantee it. So, this is in real life. Also, oh, nothing in real life. This is just resembling a snail. But, originally, it was going to be a type of beetle. It was, a re Ugh. It was going to be an ironclad beetle. And then they'd play dead when they're disturbed. That's the only information I have on them. Great. I am worried. I need to take you out. Let me, let me, let me just do the safest option. Hurricane toss, please. Because I don't know what that move is. Oh god. I think we're just gonna be in for a strong tackle. Oh. That wasn't that bad. I guess I was scared for nothing. I was tripping over nothing. <laughs> Sorry. To exploration points, not too bad of a fight. But yeah, they were originally gonna be a beetle character, but they scrapped it because they needed another snail enemy. But also, it would feel weird to fight another beetle without any real reason. Whoa, are these normal bugs I see? Patan, so this is where you crawled after you exile to crawl to after you ex your exile. Ugh. Who's this guy? Oh, just a little scientist. 
A mad scientist with no concept of ethics or safety regulations. Oi, oi, my stuff never hurt nobody. Too badly. I do not have time for a trip down memory lane. You all seem pretty, uh, buzz out. Must be real serious. We must travel to the termite kingdom, for all Bagheri will be doomed. Kaboo. Boy, that sounds rough. It wouldn't help my research at all either. I see. If you got any tips, it'd help. This is some thick fog. Nothing to be done about that, but... This land's full of trash, yeah? Bug's been marking it to remember the correct path. So as long as there's not a fork road, you should keep your eyes open and you should be fine. Baton, thank you for your assistance. Now, about their exile. We'll discuss that when the kingdom is safe. Please keep your trinkets here for now. <laughs> Alright, drop by if you ever want to peek at them. And if we actually try to talk to see what he does, as long as you stick to the marked paths, you should be reached the termite kingdom. Just keep your eyes open. It is that simple. And uh, come visit later without the queen. And I'll talk about Patan more later on, but he is known as a acorn weevil in real life, which is super tiny, but also a more sophisticated weevil. Before anything, let me save. Let me save, I said. And although not marked, the most open path is to the left, right, and bottom. So, let's see what it has in store for us if we go to the right. And also, this little hut's a ketchup bottle. That's cute. But desolate lands and go to the right. And this looks familiar. It's because it's the first room. And I'm not tricking anyone. So, let's start heading down. Uh, heading down. And right here, this is a huge room and new enemy right there. Quite adorable. Let's hit you with V. And be too strong for you. Let me take this off because I want to fight more of you. Or fight at least one of you. And looks like there's a bug up there. Oh, and grass. Guess nothing to do with the grass. But a bug. And you actually jump out at us. The first time I saw them, they scared the shit out of me. And I hope they did for you too because I don't want to suffer alone. But... We have two new enemies here. The first one, the one who jumped us, is a Mimic Spider. One, two, three. This beast is quite aggressive. This beast is quite aggressive. It seems to have numbing properties, so... V, Kaboo, stop freaking out and assist us. Oh, maybe because it's scared of spider. They're scared of spiders. What was the last spider? We fought a jumping spider, so we shouldn't be that scared, but here's a plumpling. An interesting looking pumpkin. Well, maybe not in this universe, but ugh, it's hideous. And it's got some defense. We can barely hurt it even if we give it our all. With three defense, I see why. Kaboo's probably the best one for this job. Hope we don't waste too many skills. But in reality, this is actually another form of seedling. And I like thinking about this one because in the Forsaken Lands, it it's incredibly barren, so it needs some way to protect itself. And blocked all successfully. And it's hard coated shell and high defense makes it so it's a lot easier to do so. I just like to think how interesting that is. But let's see what we can do with Ice Fall. Freeze both of you. Perfect. And take out the spider first because we need to. And missed it by one. Block the poison shot. Actually, I could use the poison shot since we heal from poison. Maybe I should have just tanked that. But the only people who have a chance of attacking the Pumpling is Kaboo. And I think also V maybe? One damage if we ignore defense. Yes! Well, also because we got a charge up and we need a perfect block this again. Nice. And we'll heal it all back in a just a bit. In a just a bit, sorry. And I don't think we can do anything about this right now because, yep, not enough. And even if we have Kaboo in the front, with his attack boost being in the front, we can't do anything about it. Well, we do spin him around, but come on, leaf. Perfect. I like how we just block outside of it. We're just hiding our faces, which is cute. And perfect. Everything down, we only got nine back. Honestly, I like the ask 
the ass no the atmosphere of this area because it's just so different you feel this dread around you with all the fog and also you can see how like horrible things have become here since mimic spiders mimic literal other bugs and we're back from the start and i actually want to check out their bestiary entry with where are you mimic spider right there next to the jumping spider so they are grouped by i guess species like leaf bugs and spiders and only the only mantis fly we see which is weird but the mimic spider i do want to read these spiders roam around the forsaken lands looking for innocent travelers to snack on being able to stand upright they can mimic the ways of other bugs like ants move even using their front legs as fake antennae their sedative saliva can be a real pain on the neck in the neck but looks like oh v kaboo stop freaking out and says hiya heck this you're going down as if you were going to put us to sleep after that scare greetings fellow ant what brings you to the oh, by the blessed statue of the goddess venus you can see that it definitely worked on them which is why <laughs> leaf told them to calm down definitely worth looking at the bestiary to see what everyone has to say i wish i could see more but i feel like i don't have enough time to do this through all the videos but let's start heading left and this is a completely different area what happens if we go backwards and back at the start yep well that's the only room that makes the most amount of sense most amount of sense and i'm cutting these grasses because there's something i want from them and if any of them could provide it there we go you found a squash a weirdly shaped berry native to the forsaken lands gradually returns to tp for three turns which means once we take it after that and i see a lore book this is well hidden i saw it like for a split second but for every turn that passes after we consume it we gain two tp and another one i want to at least get one extra one and then break whatever's behind here i guess breaking these rocks don't do too much for us let's head on to the next room going down from here and we're at the same place we went to from down before I guess left and right wouldn't work because we'd end up on either side of the first room. So does heading down do anything for, uh, I take it back. Let's see. Let's head to the right this time then since heading to the left took us to the first room and a new area. Yes. With a giant pencil curses. The bridge is out. However, shall we cross? Let's look around. We've always found a way. Good looking around guys. <laughs> I dare say you've thwart you've been thwarted this once. Uh, yeah. These lands are disorienting as is. Would there be a path we missed? Not in this direction, from what we've seen. Are you a uh, hundred percent sure? If only we could cross the smallest of gaps. V, M my queen, you shall carry us one by one across the ravine. What? We've tried this approach and you left me hanging. If it was a vast canyon, I would reconsider, but there is no time. V, this is an order. You must try. I can't do it alone. Just can't Kaboot be hard enough. We'll support V. Come on, try it out. You can do that? Been practicing. How? When? And there's no longer an excuse. V, fly with haste. Ugh, I'm gonna be all sore. Fine, whatever. Leave it to me. We can now fly. Simply hold B while she carries the party across short gaps. We can now also use the fly drop skill in battle. And we'll try to demonstrate that the next time we get into a fight. But if you notice in the dialogue, V called the queen queen or her queen, which shows that we now all accept her as our faithful and noble queen. A big change from the very beginning when we saw only leaf not accept her as a queen and v was just kind of there she never had a real opinion but let's carry on over and the way you know that we're almost out of flight power is listen to the high pitch this is gonna be annoying i'm so sorry but i like the little animation no drawing of leaf sitting on the icicle as we struggle and i kind of want to just avoid every fight i see now unless it's with a bug we haven't seen before we go down we see these gusts of wind we saw one earlier but i want to actually go a bit north and just see what's up there 
Oh my gosh, the pump link scared the shit out of me. Another disguised enemy in the area. I like how every area we've been to has at least one disguise. Snake Mouth then with the float shroom. I regret going this way. Snake Mouth then with the float shroom. And then we had, what was the next area? The Golden Settlement. Wait, do they have any disguises? I actually don't think so. They didn't have any. Okay, I take it back. But I just want to, I want to talk about because I appreciate the disguise a lot. And so with the desert, we had the, we had the cackling. Was worried we weren't going to make it. We had the cackling and in, what you gonna call it? Um, and in the magic castle, the ancient castle, there was a, what do you call it? There was those wardens that acted as the heads of the statues. And what was next? Chapter 5 was the wild grasslands, which we had leaf bugs for. Well, that was more for the swamplands, but right here, two new enemies. And let's buy the small one, the small little moth fly. Oh, you're so adorable, you cute little black bug. Oh, just a little dot on the screen. What a harmless creature. It's impressive that it has survived in such a dangerous area. We can't afford to underestimate it, however. V, lower it so that it may strike. And yeah, but what the hell is going on here? A moth fly cluster? Well, we see how it survived. Appearances are truly deceiving. I never expected them to possess such strong bonds. V, lower them. If we could scatter them, the battle is won. But actually, instead of using V, I want to use Ice Fall. Because I believe we can freeze them, we just can't poison them. Well, we got the back two. And, oh, a bit dangerous. There's a lot more health than I originally thought. And just like in real life, moth flies are tiny. I think it's quite adorable. But... This is a simple way to make a plush. Just, just a mothfly. And mothfly cluster. Okay, maybe a cluster would be too much. But, there's two things that the mothfly can do. Tackle, and its second move, Unite. Which we will hopefully see in a moment if we attack the cluster enough. Because once it is low enough, it'll call the mothflies to come out. Or, no, come in. And then it'll heal up the mothfly cluster. Maybe the other one. But also, very low attack power. Oh, unless clustered, like so. And spiky bod. Perfect. But yes, the mothfly cluster can, well, instead of just having the mothflies come into them, they can also spawn out their own, which just act as their own. And then at some point, they'll go back if they need to, but we won't give them the chance. We'll take you down and take down this last mothfly duo. Yes. Trying to just find ways to bullshit words so they make more sense. And can I? Perfect. I jinxed it. That was worse than a perfect. That was a negative. Yeah, close enough. I thought we would be able to take you down with V, but I guess we could just take one more damage. Or one more turn taking damage. And hopefully you get Kabu because I always thought that because you were in the front, you would take more of the targeting. You know? Because if you see something in front of you, go for it, you know? But they target the back lines a lot more than I thought. But I'm glad we have our party this way. Overpowered or overhealed Kabu. And I would want to explore everywhere, but this whole area is like a maze. And I say this because we're pointed this way. This, I want to go to the left at a different time. I won't forget it. It's quite important at some point, but... We'll go back to it another day, I promise. And let's just keep heading on to where they blow us. And... It's only because I remembered that spot, but I think there is a... I don't want to fight you. Another room down here? I regret my options. Let's, let's just go back to where I was. And... When I first played this, that sound was super annoying, and I'm not glad it still is, because now I have more high-definition headphones, and now all the audio is a lot clearer, and sounds clearer, and so is this buzzing sound. So I'm trying to drown it out with my speaking, and I hopefully, I hope it's good enough. But please don't let us fall. I get anxious sometimes when we have to cross these, because I always think, huh, we're not going to make it, because, oh my, you see everyone else falling? to their deaths and coming back because why not because that's not how it works we focus on the main party member and if we wanted to 
just travel back to the left there is an option right there but no need to do so let's head to the right is that a pumpkin link knew it freeze Flee, please freeze i hate i hate it all right i'm just gonna see what we can do looks like freeze here freeze you again and jump 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 use you as parkour so do not fight it as you can see we actually need the pump link and the ice rope which is a lot louder than i thought over here stuff to the right but let's head over up here first to see what's going on great i'm so glad that this is a maze like area i guess we know what that path was for so now let's head over to the right afterwards but i'm curious on what we have to say about the place lots of ch chasms 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 here well v you know what to do Ugh, these gaps are too far apart i can't carry kaboo that long hmm it seems like these rocks are blocking the wind's flow we can use that to push forward we can use that to push forward yes something that i showed it not told where's all this steam coming from anyways Oh, might be from the Termite Kingdom, actually. I haven't thought of it like that, but why are they put like this? That's a bigger question for another day. The Mimic Spider does look like an Awakened Bug. And I feel like that helps fuel my theory about how spiders are on the verge of awakening, because this is intelligence. This is clear intelligence, not just evolutionary, or not, uh, It's not just how they evolve, it's just how they act, how they behave. I mean, that is an ant. Or if you didn't detach the ant or didn't detach the antenna from the head, you would not be able to tell. Also, the eyes peek out when it walks, but it looks like a bug and it's standing upright like all the other bugs are. Get away from me. Freeze. Thank you. Thank you. Get out of my way. I dread ice physics now. No, not ice physics. Use of ice powers. I hate it. I hate it now. I don't hate it, I dread it. Different things. But I think this is, yup. And an arrow pointing up and rocks to block our way. And, oh, platform to take us up north. No, please leave me alone, please leave me alone. Get me out of here. Let me just bonk, 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 and freeze. Ah, I'm in pain. Oh, you know what? Honestly, this is worth the flea because I don't want to fight and I don't necessarily need to I'll flee Because I spoke and I don't know when to shut up and I feel like I can't edit it out because I will disrupt the flow Actually, I could just edit it out and act like nothing happened No, no the different Yep, I should not have avoided it the first time. It was a waste of berries. But for you, I do need to avoid the fight because I need you. Need you. Need you. I need you to be our stepping stone. And for safety, I'll freeze you again. Hop up, up, and up. And up again. And see that there's a big box and I actually don't see any markings. Like I expected there to be more, but I don't know. Also, the first time I did this, 
on the switch i never got up this ledge so it took me 20 minutes to figure out i was doing the right thing and just the game wasn't working for me and so what do i have to say here that rocky formation stands quite tall it's just inviting us to climb it isn't it and i guess yeah we should i mean why not mushrooms really big mushrooms actually and they're not blue so this this place is more natural uh and up one more i'm holding my shield because i'm scared of being attacked and witness it my knights the termite kingdom it's just a big rock think of that big rock as their high v it's more than close enough we've got we've just got to go north with haste bulgari cannot wait for us to complete our mission and before i risk anything i want to head north instead of never eat east never eat soft never eat soggy waffles that's how i know my directions of a compass do not judge me but over here we have a save crystal yellow one which means that we need to heal but i think you guys know what's coming up next and we'll save it for next time next time we will see what we need it for but thank you all for watching and now how do i end it that's so awkward i'm so sorry we gotten past the entirety of the forsaken lands because this is the end of it we see grass we're basically at the barrier of it and so we'll see the termite kingdom next time thank you all for watching